Kembo, Kembo, Kembo. Natatan Zambi ya Manzulu. Kinfumu kia kuyisa. All praises to Tatan Zambi and Pungutulendo, the Most High. Greetings to Isolele, the scattered people of the Bakongo, the Bantu, Bana Isolele, all over the world. In the Eastern and Western Hemisphere, I pray that you are well and that the Spirit of the Most High is with all of you, wherever you are in this world. Hallelujah. I am Nabi Kefas. Welcome to another live episode. In this episode, we'll be discussing uh, something, yeah, maybe touching for some people, especially if you're still in the Christian paradigm. Without your ancestors, there is no heaven. Yes. Without your ancestors, there is no heaven. Now, before I start, let me know how the connection is right now. If the connection is failing, I will have to stop this live feed and try in another way. Okay. Now, all those in the chat, all those watching right now live, just let me know how the feed is coming through. Is the video okay? Is, my, is the sound all right? Just let me know. Hallelujah. So if you're there, just let me know. Let me know. Is the sound okay? It's, uh, it's the video coming through clean. All right, so we're good. Everything, uh, everything good. So you can all hear me very well. The sound is perfect. Image is clear. Okay. Now, in this video, like I said, okay, we will discussing something. Yeah, touchy for some people, but if you are bent to and if you have been following me for a while, for you, it's uh, you are growing into understanding that what we are discussing here is actually part of our spirituality and it has nothing to do with demonic activities. Our ancestors and I myself, I do not worship, nor do I bow down for demons or Satan, right? But I revert the Most High. I serve Tatanzambe and Pungutulendo. Zambe Yabankulu, Zambe Yabankoko. Yes, like all our holy ancestors did, they served the God of their fathers. Zambe Yabakoko. That's who they served. Yes, we are not serving dead spirits. No, we are not worshiping dead spirits. No, Tatan Zambe is not. Nzambi of the dead. Yes, but he's the Nzambi of those who are alive. Therefore, he said, I am Nzambi Yabakoko. Yes, I am the Nzambi. I'm God of your fathers. Nzambi Yabankoko. That's how he introduced himself, right? That's how the Theophanic angel introduced himself to Moses. And we will read about it. All right. Let's go. Okay. Um, let me share my screen. Le Fils de Dieu. Kembo, praise, praise. Tatan Zambi, what thumbnails are you talking about? 
Greetings to Iggy Marandu, Mbote Tunsini Kongo, the Bantu Exodus, and El Xavier. Greetings to all of you. Let me share my screen. So we're gonna do uh, some readings first. I'm gonna start by uh, the book of Timothy, 2 Timothy 1, verse 3. I know some of you don't prefer to read the New Testament. It's all good though, you know, we're still brothers. Right. Uh, let me get uh, the verses I need, and then we go from there. Just give me a minute. Give me a minute. Mm, okay. Now let's start actually with. Exodus 3, verse 2. Let's start from there. <clears throat> All right. I'm not sharing. Okay. It's Exodus 3, from verse 1. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord, Yakongo, appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burned. And when the Lord Yakongo saw that he turned aside to see, Zambi called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Masa, Masa. And he said, here I am. And he said, draw not near hither. Put off thy shoes from thy feet. For the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am. <laughs> I am. I am who? I am the father. I am the God of thy fathers. That's what he said. I am the father, I am the God of your father. Zambia Bakoko. Yes, Zambia Bakoko of your forefathers. Zambia Bakoko of your forefathers. Interesting, eh? Hmm. First thing we need to note is this. Pay attention now. We talk, he's talking to whom? An angel. Yes. Appeared. An angel appeared in the manifestation of fire. Burning a bush. But the bush not being consumed by it. A marvelous sight. Right? But it's the manifestation, the appearance of an angel speaking with Masa from that manifestation of a burning bush. And Moses understood that it was the manifestation of God. Yakongo. Yes? And when he draw near to see and to observe, to investigate this marvelous sight, he, he heard a voice coming out of that flame. He heard a voice coming out of the flames that said, I am the God of your forefathers. You understand? So 
Bukoko, Bukoko is not wrong. It's not wrong. All nations have the tradition of serving the God of their ancestors. Except Muntu, except Bantu, through colonization, through enslavement. Yes? We were forced, and we were not only forced to convert to foreign religions and traditions to accept the service of gods which our ancestors, our fathers, never served. We accepted it. And we started bowing for gods who are foreign to our ancestors. Right? Foreign gods. Our ancestors never knew them. We're bowing before them. True slavery, true colonization. We lost the connection with the holy ones. Hallelujah. But Zam baby praise. Because we're living in a day and time where the spirit of the Tanzambi is moving all over the world, from the east to the west, from the north to the south, to awaken his children and the hearts of the fathers turning to the sons and the hearts of the sons turning to the fathers, which is the reconciliation of two worlds, the fathers in the beyond and the children who are alive Today, in the book of Malachi says, except this happened, I will come and hit the earth with a curse. So the conciliation between the fathers and the children must take place before the judgment day can come. And it's according to the Bible. Yes, it's according to the Bible. So the first thing we need to, we need to pay attention to is that this angel... This, this, you know, we, we, he said, this angel, what you see here, um, let's go up. Yes, the angel of the Lord who manifested appeared. That angel is now speaking as God, okay? I am, I am. That angel is speaking in authority as if he's God. I am, you understand? I am the God of thy fathers. I am Nazan Zambia Bangkoku na you. And it's something. So we are to serve the gods of our father, the gods of our holy ancestors who are Bantu, who had the covenant with the Most High, yes, who received the mandate from the Most High to be the custodians of this earth, to build the replica of the, the heavenly temple on earth. They received the spirituality from the Most High. They received the traditional customs from the Most High, and they taught it to their children. You understand? We are the people. We are the people. We are the people. And he said, I am Nazanzambi Yansingi Abana. Nazanzambi Ya Isaka. Nazanzambi Ya Simba O Yakuba. And Moses hid his face. For he was afraid to look upon. God, the angel. Amazing. Okay, it's amazing. Right. Now let's jump to Timothy. Now we're reading the book of Timothy. Okay. The book of Timothy, 2 Timothy 1. Verse 3. I thank God. I say, Matondo, Tunzambi, Ampungutulendo, whom I serve. Yes, who I serve. Let me enlarge it even more because you, you need to see this and understand this. Whom I serve from my Fathers, see that? 
fathers, from my ancestors. That's what he's saying. I serve, Paul is saying here, I serve, I thank that Anzambe and Pongutulendo, whom I serve from my ancestors. Yes? From my ancestors. So, you, we cannot remove the ancestors from the equation. Without the ancestors, you have no covenants. You have no traditions. You have no customs. You have no spirituality. Because all of that comes and we, have it, we receive it from the ancestors. Yes? From the Bakoko. Those who are alive in this world and those who are alive in the world hereafter in Pemba Kalunga. According to the Bukongo Bantu tradition, the dead are not dead, they are, they, but they continue the life yes. in the village in the beyond. And we remain connected. So even though the ancestors are in the beyond, even though the Bakoko, the elders, yes, are in the beyond. They can still appear to us and reveal the will of Tanzania, the decree of Zulu. Yes? And to teach us the way, the holy way, the holy way of the Most High. It is possible for those who are called for such um, visitations, yes? For those who are called for such visitations, we are not all the same. We are all different spirits. Even though you're banned to, but you're not the same as me and I'm not the same as you. Because in you lives a spirit which is different than what, the spirit that lives in me. Let me explain. We all vibrate at a different level. And as you come into this world, you are coming with a mandate and you are coming with a certain glory which is given to you. That glory uh, determines your assignment on earth. You understand? So some people are coming with a glory to be kings. Some people are coming with the glory to be community leaders. Some people are coming with the glory to be teachers in the broad aspect of it. Some people are coming to be inventors, to be artists, yes, to be uh, um, musicians, to be doctors. Everyone has received a certain glory, mission that when you come, you have to cultivate, yes, and grow your gift, yes, your giftings and your skills and whatever is in you has to come out for the benefit and for the service of your community. Uh, are you serving your community? Yes. Are you serving? Because the greatest purpose for Bantu, the greatest honor for Bantu is to serve his community and to build his household. Okay, this so Paul clearly says here, I am thankful. Na pesi tondo nantatanzambe whom I serve from my ancestors, Yabakoko, with pure conscience. Yes, here. Do you, are you serving the Most High with pure conscience? With a pure conscience. Yes, with a pure conscience. Are you serving him with a pure conscience? Because you cannot, you cannot lie before the fathers, right? You can not lie before imagine when you lie in this world 
to your physical father who is alive today, you will have problems, right? As a child. Now imagine you lie to the fathers who have entered into the holies of holies, who have become illuminated spirit, who have become zombie. How can you lie to them? So you have to serve the Most High with a pure conscience. Pure conscience. And with a pure conscience, you connect with the angelics around you. You connect with the clouds of witnesses. You connect with Maleki Makongo. And you connect with the Most High. In Geta. In Geta. Now, look at this. Let's jump to, to the book of Genesis 25. And we will read verse 8. Then Abraham... Abana Nsingi in pure Kikongo Nsingi means father of many gave up the ghost so he died and died in a good old age an old man this is the greatest blessing the Congo people and I assume all Bantu people consider this a great blessing of the Most High. A great blessing of Nzambe Ampongo Tulendo, Baba Mungu, a great blessing of Ngai Mohungu, Nkulu Nkulu. When you die of an old age, as an old man or woman, you have been blessed. Yes, you have been truly blessed by the Most High and the Holy Ancestors to live a long fulfilled life. Yes? Now he died and full of years. Yes? So in good old age, became an old man and he was full of years and was gathered to his people. Okay, he was what? He was gathered to his people. Do you see that? He was gathered to his people. Now, when we look up this word, yes, in the Hebrew, when, when we look at this word, um, gathered, Uh, here, hmm, gathered, to gather, receive, gather in, to gather an individual into company of others. Do you see that? So he was gathered to his people. That is to say, into the company of his ancestors. Okay? And he was received by his ancestors. And it's exactly what we say. It's exactly what we say. When you die as Muntu, and you have lived a righteous life, you have served Nzama Pungutulendo, the god of your ancestors, Nzambia Bakoko, with a pure conscience, <clears throat> you will be received. Yes, and at the moment, as soon as you die and resurrect in the beyond, they will have a, a banquet. They will receive you into their village, yeah. in the beyond, into the city, in the beyond. They will receive you. But if you have lived a wicked life, 
you will be rejected by the holy ancestors and you will not be allowed to enter into the holy city yes so he was gathered look at this to be gathered to one's fathers now to be gathered to one's fathers is to say to be gathered by the ancestors yes bakoko is to be gathered by the ancestors bakoko so Without your ancestor, there is no heaven. There is no heaven without your ancestors. Oh, you see? So people who have been hating on ancestors, calling your own ancestors demons. How do you want to be received? Yes? And when we talk about the ancestors in the beyond, never, never are we addressing the wicked ones who died. Like I said, when you live a wicked life, the holy ancestors will not allow you to enter into the holy city. Right? You will be rejected. So that is to say that directly you'll be taken out yes, to live with the rejectees in darkness, in a world of pain, in a world of chaos. Huh? Yes, the spiritual world is very complex. Okay? There are many dimensions in the spiritual world, and there are many worlds, plural, the metaphysical realm. Okay? So there is not just hell and heaven, or heaven and hell. There exist many worlds, plural, in the metaphysical realm. Yes, Many dimensions of habitations in the metaphysical realm. Christianity has simplified it, right? In Christianity, you just thought, there is hell, there is heaven. Where are you going? Believe in Jesus Christ and, and you will be saved from hell and from the uh, eternal damnation in fire. But there exist many other worlds in the metaphysical realm. Spirits can also be captured in the metaphysical realm when you die. Yes, it's a wicked person. You can also be captured and enslaved in the metaphysical world. So there are many enslaved Bantu people in the metaphysical world. Why? Because they have been serving foreign gods. And when you die serving for foreign gods, you risk to be taken captive and to made a slave in the metaphysical realm. Yes, to do the beatings of wicked people, so you become an evil spirit. Uh, okay, fathers, right? Gathered to one's fathers. That's it. So we, the Bible is, is clear. The Bible is very clear. When you die, you will be guarded by your fathers, by your ancestors. And if you reject your ancestors, who do you think will receive you when you cross over? So you demonize them, you call them all, all kinds of name, yeah, you cast them out. Who will receive? You need to repent and ask forgiveness. Yes, and we're not talking about wicked ancestors. We're talking about spirit of just men made perfect. Hebrew 12. We're talking about the clouds of witnesses. Hebrew 12 verse 1. Okay? 
We're talking about those righteous men who have become like angels. The book of Luke, I think chapter 20. Those, Isaiah said, who die will become equal to the angels. We're talking about those people. Yes. Those people who have clothed themselves in fine white linen, which is the righteousness of the saints. We're talking about those people. Those are the ones whom we in Bantu, in Congo, call the illuminated ancestors, the Bankulu Balongo. Yes, the illuminated holy ancestors, which in the Christian tongue or in the Christian term is called saints, saints. Hallelujah. Kembo nata Tanzani ya Manzulu kinfumu kya kuhisa praises 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 to the most high hallelujah praises 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 to the most high now in um, in the kikongo yes how long are we in? 34 minutes. In the Kikongo, there are two words to denote life. Yes. One is Kimoya and the other Zingu. And what I'm teaching now will be in my upcoming book. Yes. So stay posted. When it's ready, I will drop it like it's hot. You can go and uh, order to learn and to get this wisdom of the Bankulu. Yes, so there are two words to denote life. One is Kimoya, the other is Zingu. Kimoya means to be alive, yeah, possessing the vital life force. Zingu communicates life as the continuation of a cycle. So it's life as a continuous cycle, which is a zingu. From the verb zinga, to live, yes, or to remain alive. It is the continuation of life. So that is to say that our life never ends, but there is always a continuation. That is just a transition, a new beginning. You have to, had to be birthed into this world physically, right? So your spirit entered at the moment of conception as your body was developing. When matured, completed, you were pushed out. Poof, water broke. And you came through the waters, out of that uh, cosmos, right? Out of that um, space of water, you grew. And then you were pushed out into this world. When you die, you will experience, once again, a birth, which is called resurrection in the beyond. You die, you resurrect in the beyond. You are born anew in the spiritual realm. And you pass through the waters, which is called Kalunga. Yes, the crystal sea. You pass through the waters. And as you pass through the waters, you enter into the realm of the Bankulu, the holy ones. And they are the ones who will receive you. If you have lived a righteous life, you served your community, you fed God, you lived uh, with love, right? Do unto others as, 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 as you want them to do unto you. That's the law of love. You serve the Most High with a pure conscience. 
you will be received. See? And life continues. Now, the birth of a child is considered in, in the Bantu um, ontology is considered the rising of a living sun in the upper world, which is called Kunseke. Now, the upper world, Kunseke, is the physical world, yes, the physical world of the living. And it sets in the lower world, which is Kupemba, the world of the dead, or the realm of the holy ancestors, which in Christianity is called heaven. Now, Kalunga represents the door that leads to the realm of the holy ancestors. It is symbolized and see by the sea, by the waters. Yes, Kalunga also means the great deep by the waters. Heaven actually means the waters. When you go into the Hebrew, Shamahim, Mai, Sha, Za, Mai, the world of the waters. That is what they transform and called heaven. But heaven originally gave the Bantu, the original moon to this concept of the waters as the passing door to enter into the realm of the Bankulu Balongo, which they today call heaven, was actually my Kalunga. Kalunga. That's why, ho that's why water represents purity. Yes, water represents purity, pure spirit, you know. Now, the moon too has to rise as the sun in order to grow, to be, to become, and to radiate community with his fire, with his be, with your radiation, your fire, your gifting, right? Everyone has a, a radiation. It's your, your gifting, your personal energy, the glory which you carry within you. So you have to grow and to rise as, as the sun, yes, in order to be, to become, and to radiate the community with your fire. To become denotes a process of growth, yes? So all of us, we are not, but we must become. And when we become, you can say, I am. So to become denotes a process of growth and transformation. The first stage of growth is called, according to the Bukongo cosmology, Kala. He then makes a transition to Kula, which means to grow. Kala is birth, Kula is to grow. Why do we need to grow? Everything that has life must grow. If you don't grow, you're dead. Okay? If it's, there is no transformation, there is no becoming the process of growth and transformation in you, you must be dead. You are a dead one. Yes. Okufa Kala. <laughs> you died long ago. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now, what I'm teaching is can be seen in the Congo Cross. Maybe I can put it on the screen. Let me see if I have it here somewhere. I do have it somewhere here. Yes. All right, now what I'm talking about is, oh, that's not right. 
Okay, let's do it like this. One moment. I'm almost there. Okay, let me share the link for those who want to uh, come and uh, participate in this conversation, right? Okay, now before I continue, first of all, make sure to like this video right now, yeah, before I go any further. I, I don't have many likes. There are much more people watching live at this very moment. So I want you all to hit that like button. Give this video a thumbs up right now. If you don't, if you are not enjoying this teaching in this live episode right now, you are allowed to move on. But you are enjoying it. Give this video a thumbs up, and also make sure to go to my Patreon page and subscribe over there as a partner. Help me out. You know, support the ministry and enable me to do more. So go to my Patreon, become a Patreon partner. I have more teachings, more powerful teachings over there. Um, and I will be uploading every month several powerful teachings for all my Patreon partners. And so make sure to go there and uh, subscribe, become a partner. You can also support via PayPal. Yeah, you can also support via YouTube, and a thumbs up is totally free. Yeah? So don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, smash it right now. So the link is there for anyone who wants to join in this conversation. The link is there in the chat. In Geta. Let me give you a moment to, to do what I ask, right? I want those likes to go up before I uh, continue. Mm, okay, I think you have all smashed that like button and uh, whatever. Let's continue. Hallelujah, Kembo, Natatanzambi, Amanzulu. Hallelujah, Baba Mungu, Mekongo Kalunga. Oh, praises. Now, look at this. All right. Now, that's what I said. You are born in the east. That's the dark spot which is called Kala. Kala means birth or childhood. Yes, so birth or childhood. Now you have to grow. You have to go through the process of becoming, which denote the process of growth, growing to the north, until you reach Tukula. Yes, until you reach position of Tukula, which is um, maturity. Yes, which is your maturity. And when you reach that maturity, it's not only you becoming at age, but also spiritually at age, right? So it's physical, biological maturity and spiritual maturity. When you reach that point, you are directly in, um, in connection with the ancestors. Yes, opposite of Tukula is Musuni, the world of the ancestors in Pemba Kalunga. It is the point where you are shining bright, radiating your community with your gift, right? With your blessings, which the Tanzanian has put in you. Kala also means long ago. Yeah? So you are coming from long ago. 
<laughs> you are coming from long ago. What does it mean? It means that you lived before. You pre-existed before you existed in this life. You understand? So you pre-existed in the spiritual, in the metaphysical realm, Simukongo, before you came to exist in this world. Hallelujah. That's that's something. So Kala can represent long ago or your past, and it represents your birth and childhood. You have to grow to the Nord, because you are born in the East, and you grow to the Nord, and you reach the position of Tukula, which is maturity. When you have reached spiritual maturity, right? When you understand the wisdoms, the ways, the traditions of the fathers, you have reached spiritual maturity. And by that, you stand in opposition with the ancestors in Pemba Kalunga. From that position, as you are radiating your gifting into your community, you grow further. Your mat maturation continues until you reach the far west point, which is Lufemba. You have become an elder. You have become a wise one. You have become a koko, kaka. Yes. And in opposition, you have now a kaka in the east. Because here in the west, you have become an elder and kaka, but you have also become a koko. Because in Congo, in Lingala, uh, a grandfather is called Coco, and a grandson is also called Coco. And so you have Papa Coco, Moana Coco. Yes? And from this position, you, before you go, before you are received by the ancestors, you have to bless those who you are leaving behind you. That's Lufemba. Yes? That's Lufemba. So you have to pass on. If you are a community leader, you have to pass on the giftings and the knowledge and the wisdom that you have accumulated to the next leader. And then you can die. Okay? So you, it's not good to die and to leave your community behind without passing on the knowledge, wisdom, you know, and, and, and spiritual powers, giftings, which you have accumulated through purification and the sanctification of thought and through the service of Nzamba and Pungutulena with the pure conscience, we have to pass it on. And then you die when your time has come and you enter into the South, which is Pemba, the spiritual world. See, and you enter into Pemba Kalunga, which is the spiritual world. Now, this is just a short summary, because uh, we can go very deep, yeah? but it's just a short summary of it, okay? Now, the, the ancient Congo crowds, whatever I showed you, also called the Kenga, and the Congo Cosmogram, signifies the cycle of life. Because you go in cycles. It signifies the cycle of life. It is said that the human soul comes down to experience life. To grow his faculties. To work out his salvation. And yeah, how do you work out your salvation? Through the sanctification of thought. By living a pure life. Right? in the service of the Tanzambe with a pure conscience. Now, the descension and ascension are seen in a spiral movement. Yes. Do you remember the, the letter of Jacob? It wasn't a stick letter, but it was a spiral letter. Yes, a spiral case, staircase. Spiral staircase. That is your life. Because he said, angels 
descend and ascend. Now, the moon to descend and ascend in a spiral movement. See, that spiral movement represents cycles, cycles. Now you can go through the cycles ascending or descending. But we never really descend in, uh, how, can I, how can I put it? Our purpose is to always uh, go higher, yes? As we enter into this world, we have come to experience life, to grow our faculties, you know, to, to really grow as spirit beings. And how we live our life will determine where in that spiral moment or position or world we will find ourselves. Yes, because as you're going in cycles, going up through that spiral movement, you are going up in seven levels. Yes, it's like, yeah, when you have a flat, right? Seven levels, you are going up, 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 up until you reach perfection. That's the way you should see it, see? But your connection with Pemba Kalunga is through your ancestors. So if you want to go to heaven, right? You must know the God of your ancestors. You understand? What we have seen in the Bible is what? In Genesis 20, 25, 8. That when Abraham died, he was received by his people. Now, who are his people? Because many in Christianity will say Abraham is the father of faith. You see? So when we die, we go into the, in, into the house of Abraham. Or we will, how do they call it? The, the, the bosom of Abraham, right? Something like that. But he was received by his people. So who are his people? You see? So when you die, you are received by your people. But if you demonize your ancestors, who will receive you? What reward do you have? And we're talking about the holy ones. Never do we address those who have lived a wicked life and are rejected by the holy ancestors. Do you get it? Hallelujah. Ah, Kembo. I think we're done. I cannot go any further um, with this teaching. The rest will be shared on um, very soon on Patreon if you're interested. Yes, uh, this year I will be uploading a lot of deep teachings for all my partners. So make sure to become a partner and, you know, to get these teachings because I cannot share everything on YouTube. All right. But the link is there. Yes, the link is there. Let me. Uh... So the link is there in the chat. If you hear, you want to come in, you want to. Uh say something, you have to comment on what we have discussed, you are free, come and uh, say whatever you want to say, right? For the benefit of the Bena Congo, not come in just to have silly discussions, I will kick you out immediately, but come in with, with, with good sense, you know, good spirit, respectful, and let's just have a normal conversation so you can you know say your mind give your opinion or give your perspective in a respectful manner right as a moon to not as a cardian pemba but as a moon to okay right mm. i'm waiting on you you said, hey, not be careful. You, you're not sharing the link anymore. What's up? Now I put the link in there. No one is coming. 
Come, come, come. Boya, Bokota, eh? Muzubanganini, what are you afraid of? Someone just asked me, you know, like a month ago. Hey, Nabi, why are you not sharing the link anymore? I've been away for a while. I've been very busy also with work. And um, yeah, uh, I was having some, um, yeah, okay, complications with work, you know. Working for Kadian Pain, but it's not always uh, nice, eh? But we need to do what we need to do. Yeah, we need to be strong and keep focus. Hey, brother, you have to unmute your, your mic. Boten, Boten. Hey, How you doing? Boten, right. Yeah, yeah. That's all I'm at work. So yeah, I just wanted, yeah, I wanted so you could see my face, but uh, I'll cover it so I can speak. Uh, that was a powerful teaching. Uh, I, I really like it. <laughs> I really like it. Ah, Ken Yes. Yes. Yeah, look. Yeah, you, uh, you're touching on a very uh, a dangerous uh, topic, ancestors. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. It's uh, it, it's it has been a long time that I spoke on ancestors, you know. So yeah, I had to come and to to drop the fire once, once, once more. Mm -hmm. I, I also wanted to add. To add, you know, growing up as a Christian, you know, living in Kinshasa, you know, I observed the tradition, even though we had uh, grandpas, elders who were quote unquote Christian, they still perform uh, ancestral practices. Like mm. my grandpa was a Catholic, a devout Catholic. Every 5 a.m., he's off to the paroisse. But when it came to tradition, he was observing this, and the question is, how can he be a Christian and have teachings demonizing the worship of quote unquote the dead, that reminds you, but you're allowed to worship Mary, mother of Jesus, quote unquote, or the saints, the Saint Paul. But then you turn around and do traditional wedding. Like, what's up with that? So that's why I always say Christianity is a spell of hypocrisy because on one and you scream, oh, uh, the love of Jesus. Jesus mm. came to, you know, to give us the new way. And then you turn up, because, uh, brother Kephas, do this homework, right? Investigate every Christian you know from from Africa or Congo. Ask them if they pay their, their uh, dowry for marriage before they marry their wife. If they say yes, ask them, well, it's not evil, and they will know why. Because that's an ancestral practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is because that if cool, they're cool? dead, why you? Uh -huh. If they're mm -hmm. dead, why you following the dead? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know they they are uh, they are selective. Yes. Yeah, they they pick traditions what they like, and the rest they demonize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when you go to church. Pastor Azote, eh? Okuzwali bala, okobala. You saw everyone. Uh, okay, na poto. <laughs> okay, na poto. People want those blessings. But marriage mm. is given to everyone, right? Marriage is given, is given to everyone. Papa Tanzania said, if you want to get married, marry. Yeah. 
But they don't want to do it the, the right way. They want to do it uh, the Euro European way. Yeah, the European the way. way. Yes, the Kanyapemba way. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, the colonization, you know. Yes. The mind of the moon to still in captivity. That's our problem. It's the love of Jesus. We love Jesus more. We, you know, it's, you know, yeah, it's like once you can see, I'm like, we mm. learn to love someone else more than ourselves. And then yeah. when we look at our brother, we call it the devil. Look, there's a difference, eh? We've got the Ampemba and, 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 and Bantu. Yes. The Kadiyampemba says they love Jesus, yeah. but they are homosexuals, you know, they are drugs dealers. They love Jesus, but they will colonize you with a gun, right? They will hang you on a tree, but they love Jesus. Now, the Muntu loves Jesus and he's always on his knee for everyone. Yeah. Hmm? So that tells us that the spirit of Muntu is destroyed. Mm -hmm. The spirit of Muntu is dead. God in Muntu, Zambi in the Muntu is dead. That's why Muntu bows for everyone. And never standing for himself, for his community, for his people, for his freedom. It needs to change. Yes. It's, it, it's, it, it's a brainwashing, you know, my opinion. Yeah. When I talk to some of the brothers, I say, when it comes to our elders, our parents, they're too far gone. They're, there's no uh, brainwashing mm -hmm. them to the right side. Mm. They're, they're lost cause. Only the children, the toddlers that are born right now, they can be redeemed. Like my children, the things that I know now, they'll learn it before they can learn anything else. <laughs> yeah. So I, yeah, I even yeah, told yeah. my wife, I told my wife, you know, because my, my wife, she's kind of learning. The, the ways that I'm learning, you know, in Gunza and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. I tell her, I tell her, I'm like, hey, this is my life, you know, you you have to follow me. And she's like, yeah, you know, because uh, I had a deliverance last year. You know, shout out to Brother Masa, you know. Uh, when I went back to Kinshasa, I went for a deliverance. Mm -hmm. And my wife, I brought her with me. It was supposed to be mine, but I'm like, no, you're coming with me. And she was scared. <laughs> She was scared. I wasn't scared. Like, why are you going to be scared of your ancestors' practice? See, that's Christianity. They've made us fearful of ourselves, mm -hmm. our practices. They yeah. say, this is, you know, uh, this is the one, this is the blood of Jesus. Drink, right? But our ancestors don't say to drink blood. But see, you'll be scared. Like, if our ancestors say drink water, oh my God, mm -hmm. that's the devil. Yeah, 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 drink the Why drink the wine. Uh -huh. drink the mm. wine because it's the blood of Jesus. Ah, you know, it's Jesus. Mm -hmm. and, be, and we don't even realize what we're doing. We learn how to be vampires. Yeah, we learn to be vampires. Like it's like mm -hmm. now that I look back, I'm like, man, we were under a spell because as a kid, you're like, why do you want to drink blood? Because I went to Bible and I asked my parents, I'm like, but is it an evil? Is it a sin to drink blood? You eat blood in the Bible, the whole world. That's mm -hmm. different. It's symbolism, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, that is one thing I learned. That's 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 something we have been so uh, programmed, you know, to embrace everything Christian and everything that comes from the Kadian Pemba, and it's exactly what uh, King Leopold said. You are not going when he spoke to his missionaries. And he gave them his mandate. He said, you are not going to the Congo to preach to those Negroes, yeah, Bantu, Bakongo, the knowledge of God, because they know God already. But your mission is to deceive them. Yes, to deceive them, to love poverty, to be in uh, in opposition against their uh, the fathers, not to listen to the fathers, and kill the fathers even, and take the children and indoctrinate them, things like that. That that's that's what they did. So, the moon was me so indoctrinated, 
so poisoned in his soul that when he thinks on his ancestors, he sees demons in his mind. He doesn't see holy angels, saints, eh? holy beings. He just sees demons because of the programming of Christian doctrine, Christian dogma. Yes. That's it. Um, fasting is life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What does moon to mean? Because there is a sister here that's asking, what is the meaning of moon to? Well, Mutu means men or, uh, you know, whether men or women. Uh, the, what is it? But uh, Batu means plural, meant like men, right? Like many. But in the word Mutu, it has the word tu, which refers to the image of the Most High. So saying Mutu, it just saying the image of God. So man is the image of God. It's synonymous with the image of God. So when we don't say to Zabat, we are saying uh, we are the image of the Most High. Mm -hmm. but we are the image the bearers image. of the Creator. Yes. And so so there you have it. Been men. Yeah, like mankind. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't yeah. even say mankind because it's a tricky word. Because when it says mankind, how can it be a man of a kind? No, there is only man. So if you if someone says mankind, it's someone trying to be man, but it's a kind of man, but it's not a man. <laughs> I was having a discussion with somebody because we got tricked too because I don't like the word human because I'm not a human. That's a made-up word uh, because if you look at the word human, it has the word man. So if I'm already a man, why do I need to be a human? So, see? <laughs> but, uh, that's another thing. Uh, that's another bomb right there. You, know, you can also interpret human to be man of you, man, yeah. man of color. I know a, a lot of uh, uh, was it uh, uh, Kemet, They used to say that, but if you study the uh, etymology of that word, uh, it goes back to the uh, scientific theory that man came from monkeys and from the little amphibian. Mm -hmm. But man, we moved. We didn't come like that. So really, when we're learning science, the the beginning of quote unquote man, it's not us. It's them, because. Where did they come from? Because they, they, they say themselves that they're quote unquote aliens. Mm -hmm. So to me, the amphibian or the quote unquote uh, the the man monkey origin, that, that doesn't sound like uh, us. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't recall ancestors saying anything, oh uh, we evolved from another species and we came we became Mutu. No, it mm -hmm. just says we were. Like we, we existed, you know. We we didn't quote unquote evolve per se. Mm, mm, mm. That's, that's oh, okay. Another, that's okay. Yeah, that's great. Great breakdown. Person is live. Matondo. Yeah, th thank you. Hey, we have brother Mpangi Gerard. Mbote. Mbote, Mbote. How are you, Nabi? I'm good. How are you doing? I I'm doing well. Uh, I'm actually just hopping on, uh, but I saw the title and I wanted I wanted to get on when I saw the title. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had I had this feeling, you know. I told my wife I um actually I need to go online. I have this uh, this thing I want to discuss, and I've been you know I talked about ancestors in the beginning a lot. Um. But I felt like I had to reopen that subject, you know, to, to people. Because when you think, when you just think on what we have learned from Christianity, that when you die, you go to heaven. Who is waiting for you in heaven, you know? Right. Who's, who's waiting for you there? Yeah. In your imagination... When you imagine heaven, what do you see? You see white Jesus, white God, white angels. So heaven, it has been colonized. Yes. You don't see your own family there. You imagine everything, everyone to be white, all the angels to be white. Blue yeah. eyes, right? Blonde hairs. Yeah, we're dealing with centuries of uh, colonization, Catholic tactics, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> centuries. And... 
when you when I I, I even recently learned about um, fear. They did a test on um, on mice. So when the scientists they would put this flower up to the mice, and every time they put the flower up to the mice, they would electrocute it. So every time this the mice would saw the flower, they would be scared. Mm, yeah. So later on, these they mice would begin to have children. So the, when the children were born, the little mice, they when they saw the flower, they were they were scared. Now they were never electrocuted, but because it was hereditary in the parents, the children became scared. Right. So then they said the, the next mice again, even two generations after those children, when they saw this flower, they were feared. Didn't know why they were fearful, but because of what happened to the grandparents. Yeah, that's right. So when 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 the colonizer came to our ancestors, and they whipped us and beat us, raped us and burned us to embed this in our in us. Now, anything outside of the Christian doctrine, our people are scared. Mm -hmm. They're fearful. And, yeah. and, what, and what Tata has been revealed to me about ancestors is you, you can't even become an ancestor unless you lived that righteous life before here. Yes, of course. And, and for us to eliminate them, we're eliminating help in the spiritual mm -hmm. realm. Mm -hmm. they, they, are, they bridge the gap for us to get the time. Because there's a hierarchy. We can't just overskip mm -hmm. them. <laughs> and then think we just go straight to Tatan Zambi, you know. That's right. So Yeah, that's right. You see, there is no heaven. If you have no relation with your ancestors, there is no heaven for you. Because mm -hmm. heaven is the abode or the city of the ancestors. And that term heaven is a new term. Yeah, very new. It's new, it's new. It's a new term, it's a new word. In the Hebrew. Shamahim, you know, or Mayim. They use Shamahim to denote the, the, the places above. But if you break the word down, Shamahim, Samahim, Sa, can become Za, because S and Z are interchangeable. Right. Okay? So Za means the universe. Yes? Yeah. The universe. My means waters. Yes. So Samayim refers to the world beyond the waters. Yes. Which in, in, in amongst us, Bakongo, we know it as Kalunga, which is the deep sea. The deep sea is a barrier, but also a door in between worlds. Yeah. It's the crossroads. Yes. yes in which, which you enter into this world. In which you cross to go through the other world, right? The Kalunga. And, hey, you and, know, uh, to add what, uh, what uh, you said about the water, right? You know what just popped in my head? The movie Stargate, right? Stargate. Can, can, you, can you pump up your volume? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, no. How about now? Yeah, you're better. Okay. Yeah, it's probably. Uh, uh, the Bluetooth was trying to kick in. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I was saying, you guys remember the movie Stargate, right? It was also a TV show. Yes. What was the subject of the movie? A quote-unquote ancient Egyptian gateway to the yes. stars, right? Yes, that's and right. How, when that gate is activated, what, what does it look like? Water. Like a water bubble. Uh -huh, water. It's like an yeah. upside down pool. Mm -hmm. And then when you cross into it, it, it sucks you in. in and then you appear in another dimension. Exactly. And the dimension looks exactly like what I call Egypt, but it looks a bit different. Mm -hmm. And there are people who live there. And quote unquote, the theme of the movie is basically a quote unquote ancient species has taken over that dimension. And quote unquote, Esau had to go and save the day. Because he knew how to read the language, like the context. And and well, who did they have as the enemy? Black people playing ancient Egyptians. Mm -hmm. yes. Look at the psychosis that they put in our mind that mm. is bad. Oh, look. The, and uh, the stick had, you know, laser beams. But it's like, okay, wait a minute. It's ancient time. How did they have a stick? And then they would say, oh, because it's alien technology. They're literally telling us. There are people live, quote unquote, a simple life, yet with technology so far advanced with the quote unquote modern time. 
they had all their quote unquote American weapons, but they couldn't they couldn't face uh quote unquote this quote unquote ancient Egyptian technology. So I just wanted to point out because I thought about the water. I was like, wait a minute. I've seen a, a TV show that talks about water be the mm-hmm. gateway. Mm-hmm. And it, uh, what, what did it say when a woman, uh, a baby's born? It said, my, uh, uh, I my said, my broke. Uh, broke. Yeah. 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 To lie, or was it to come to life, you have to go to, uh, what through is the it? waters. Water and to live, you have to go to waters. Why? Exactly. When your air is what? It's water. Mm-hmm. It's just gas. Mm-hmm. His third form. Yeah, that's it. Yes, water is a portal. Yes, water is a portal, and water also. Um, com, com, how do you say that in English? Uh, water also can direct electricity, right? Yeah, conduct, conduct. Yes, yes conduct. Right. Water can also conduct electricity. So. Water is very spiritual, and we know that water has memory, right? Water has a memory. Water remembers. So to remember something, water must be alive. So water has life itself. Therefore, it can give life. Uh, yeah? Brother, brother Kephas, mm. he's a... Here's another detail. I think it's in the book of Enoch. Either Enoch or one of the apocalypse apocalypse book where mm-hmm. it says that lightning is made from water and, and fire. That lightning that you see, the, mm-hmm. the power, it's a mixture. So in heaven, where the Mosai sits, uh, he's describing where his foot is sitting. It says this glass, that light, it says it's, it's a mixture of Water and fire, which creates lightning. So when you, you know when yeah. the Bible talks about that lightning was coming from the throne, it's basically the mixture of lightning and uh, I mean of water and fire creating lightning. And interesting enough, what does the lightning do? It has electricity power. Yes, yes, mm, yes. Electricity cuts through the waters, right? As it moves through the air, it cuts through the waters. That's powerful. Yeah, brother Gerard, go ahead. Now I'm just sitting. I'm soaking it all in. And and when you think about lightning, it also comes with a sound, mm-hmm. right? And you know, so that's frequency and vibration as well. Mm, exactly. exactly. <laughs> and that's and that's what created the earth. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's powerful. You know, very and powerful. The, the voice of Tatan Zombie <laughs> thunders. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lightning and waters. And we also read in scripture that he is seated, he has his throne, right? On this plateau, which is called crystallized sea, the, the cre- sea of crystal. <laughs> Water. Uh you, yeah. you know what's you know what's funny? Um Kalunga. When I when there's time when I go into meditation and you know the type of the answers they give me a vision of them and i'm in this i think i told you this before i'm in this dark cave and there's seats in front of me and there's like a row of them on these big seats right made out of rubies and stones and 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 where i'm at i'm i'm standing in water sometimes i'm kneeling but the water is the water is crystallized yeah it's sparkling yeah <laughs> <laughs> And this is a vision I get when I go into that, when I get into that mode, and, I did, and this is what they show me. Yeah, yeah. So and then I look up, I see, I see, I see stars when I look up. So I'm not talking crazy. Uh, <laughs> no, you're not crazy. I'm not talking crazy, right? No. And, and this is something I've never seen while I was in Christianity. I've never seen these things. No, you cannot. You know no. why? Because you were connected with a lie. Yes. When you were into prayer, yes. When you, when you go into prayer, you must enter into the realm, the metaphysical realm of images, images, which is also called imagination. When you enter into that realm, that's where you will have the visitations yeah. okay, and open visions yeah. in prayer. 
But if you are in prayer and you are imagining white angels, white Jesus, white God on a throne, white everything, colonized heaven, how can you be connected with your ancestors? How can you be connected? Listen, Tatan Zambi is mind. Yeah, you hear? Tatan Zambi is mind. Mind. His consciousness. See? And how do you connect with him? Through the mind. In a telepathic way which is through the way of prayer. Yes. Sambila, which also denotes the fusion, mind to mind. You send your thoughts. Your thoughts are received and you receive a signal back, communication, which is Sambila. It's the fusion of minds, of consciousness. Yes. But if your consciousness is colonized and you imagine colonized heaven, all you will see is white angels coming to you saying all kinds of things. You know, I have never seen white angels, never in my whole Christian life. The Most High didn't allow me to see any white Kadiyampemba angel mm. with brown hair. Blue eyes, no, with suit, no. white. No. The only the, all the angels that I saw were always they always had this uh shining face, right? I, I could never tell if they were brown or mundele, but they always had a shining face, like a bright face. And what they told me is holding true till today. <laughs> till today. That's something. So how many people can say that who have seen white angels the whole life? Right? Mundele angels telling you to go to Israel and to bow down, to pray, to kiss the dirt. No. No. Yeah. Uh, pressing prophecy, you will need to turn on your camera and, um, and turn on your Mac. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, so, so someone asked me a question. Is heaven for all races? And for all ethnic groups in Christianity, of course, right? Because we say in Christianity, all nations will come and we will hold hands and sing to the Most High songs of praises, you know, with all nations. What do you think about that, uh, Gerard? Is heaven, because just think on it, you know, as you die, you are received by your ancestors. Right. So how can heaven be for a place of all ethnic groups will come together as one? To, to me, it doesn't make sense. Um, <laughs> but Tata created, I go back to Genesis when he divided mm -hmm. everyone <laughs> and he separated and he left us for his own. Mm -hmm. And then we also learned there's there's further, there's also more than one heaven. <laughs> yes. Uh, there's a separate one for us. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the moon too has the highest vibrational yes. energy. Yes, the yes. highest. So it means that we go higher into the realms of habitations. We go higher. Yes. Every. What I've learned is this, that is that every um, ethnic group, depending where you're coming from, will go to their own place. Yes, like you said. And like I said before, earlier yeah. in this teaching, 
people have to rewind or rewatch is that um, in the spiritual realm, in the metaphysical realm, there exist many worlds. Yes. Plural, yes. Many worlds. Yes. Christianity very simplified it. They said heaven, hell, right? Yeah. It's just two options. <laughs> but in reality, there exist many worlds. You also have a world where people live who are enslaved. Yes. Okay? Where people live who are in darkness. And you have a place where people live who have become wicked spirits. Yeah. Yes. Who come to haunt people who are used by evil magicians. And yeah. People like that. Yeah? So the, the metaphysical world is very complex. It's not just simple heaven and hell. It's very complex. Very complex. The, the Mundeli made uh, salvation a destination. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> when you die, you either go to heaven or hell. That's not salvation. No. Salvation <laughs> is not a destination. No. Salvation, according to our moon to elders, Bakoko. Yes. Salvation has to do with you regaining your divinity. Yes. That's salvation. And yes. it's also the restoration of the moon to. Yes. Restoration of the covenant. State. Yes, yeah, that's no, salvation. Okay. It's not a destination. No. And that's why Christians are so fooled, right? Yeah. You're just living your life for for the destination, heaven. And you live in fear. I want to be saved. And they taught us to live in fear when our ancestors didn't live in fear. They didn't fear death. No. They had to heaven. fear death because they know their destination. Yeah. <laughs> They're yeah. evil spirits. So they want to they want to live here forever. Yeah, yeah. They taught us they they taught us their concept. Our ancestors mm -hmm. didn't fear death. They knew, like you said, the cosmo Congo Cosmo ground. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the transition. Yes, in the Kikongo you have two words that denotes life. The one is kimoya, which signifies be alive or to be ex in existence, you know, to breed life itself, possessing that vital life force. And the other is uh, Zingu, which denotes life through a, a cycle, yeah. Yeah? life through yeah, various cycles. So that is to say that in this life, how you live your life determines how you will continue in the world hereafter, yeah? Yeah. Because even in that world, you will have to grow to become, yes? You will have to mature even in that world. Yeah. And incarnation or reincarnation, yeah, shall I say, reincarnation is also a, a huge deal. Because um, in the Buntu or Bantu, ontology and philosophy, spirituality, we go from glory to glory. Yes, you don't go from glory to nothing. No, you go from glory to glory. So you progress as a spiritual being. There must be progression. And if you reincarnate without any reason you just reincarnate you don't progress there's no progression yeah but regression yeah yes you fall back yeah. and you don't go from glory to glory from strength to strength from power to power you understand so that is to say that incarnation reincarnation is not a law but an exception. Mm. Yes. You can be allowed to return for a very specific purpose. Mm. Uh, if you have not progressed, for example, you can come back. <laughs> <laughs> you feel that progression, right? You feel that the test, which is life, and you can come back, do the test again. Mm. Until you reach that level of progression that is needed mm. to continue mm. the spiritual, metaphysical progression in the other world. Yeah. And that's that, what our ancestors thought, right? That's, that's very deep. 
what Christianity will say, you just you will live once and you die once, that's it. But what about when we think on the the um Bologna? My goodness, how do you say that in English? Which were you looking for? Your Bologna. Yeah, that's Dutch. That's Dutch. Oh. Do you speak Dutch? No, 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 no. I forgot the word in English. My goodness. Uh, rewards. Rewards. Oh, okay, right. okay. Yeah. The Bible said that everyone who dies will get his reward in heaven. Yes? And the reward is determined by the works you have done for Jesus. Yeah? The good works you have done. Now, what about the thief who died on the cross? What reward did he get? Is he walking around naked in heaven right now? No. No. <laughs> he had he had no works to show for. <laughs> you you know it was in 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 Enoch. I read this in Enoch. He talked about uh, uh, the Kadia Pemba or those who follow their ways. When you die, your punishment mm -hmm. will be according to your level of wickedness, your level of sin that you have committed. Yes, <laughs> it's in Enoch. They talk about this. That's why one of the reasons why they take it out, and yeah. uh, so it go. So that guy kind of goes what you're saying on the other end. You know, we're working towards, and we're going, we're cycling through, trying to get to that that pinnacle of that point. And like you said, according to our good works or our good deeds, is is how mm -hmm. we will achieve these things. And it's on the other end, on the side of sin, mm -hmm. you will be punished according to what you, according to your sin has done. Yeah. So when they teach us that all sin is is the same, they, it's, a, it's another Christian lie. No, 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 no. Sin is sin. You know, it doesn't matter what you've done. Sin is right. sin. No, no, I'm saying what I'm saying there's there's levels to your what you have done. You will you have you, sin, right? Right. Just right. according if we go we, if we just stick with the Bible, you have sin, mm -hmm. you have transgressions, mm -hmm. you have abominations, ob uh -huh, uh -huh. and you have unforgivable sins. Okay. So four levels. Okay. So how can one who has committed an unforgivable sin yes. be punished the same? This is what I was trying to say, what you're saying now. As yes. you know, the one who committed a major sin, if, if that is yes. it, no? Yeah. Just a minor sin. Yeah. So you have sin. Yeah. You have transgressions. Yeah. You have abominations and unforgivable things, according yeah. to the Bible. So everyone, according to the Bible, will be judged according to their Works. works right that's it that's right and and this is exactly what our ancestor said right yes if you have done much evil you will go into the other world with a heavy heart okay? because you have put a lot of heaviness upon your soul so you will yes. enter into the realm of the bankulu with a heavy heart yeah and that heavy heart would manifest itself into ugliness yeah. And into, you know, uh, a stench. Yes. And they will reject you. Yes. Now in ancient Egypt, they will weigh your heart against a feather, you know, the feather of Maat. And if your heart is heavy, it will be eaten by uh, the crocodile or some, yeah, mm -hmm. some creature. Mm -hmm. And you will go into hell, you know, the place of punishment. Mm-hmm. I'll pose a question for you. So does does that make sense for our ancestors to be demonic? Or would they say if they didn't live uh, 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 according to righteousness, would they go into the next realm trying to be demonic still, or would they be in the next realm living in, re in regret? You right? tell me. <laughs> 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 will they still try to be demonic in the next realm, or would they be in regret? What did I do? They want to yeah. see what they did. <laughs> yeah, like I said, the, 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 there are some people, you know, some spirits will be imprisoned. Yes. Like we read in the book of Peter, right? That when Jesus died, Isaiah died, he went into the prison to deliver people out of it. Yeah. yeah so there are prisons. Some people, some spirits can be in prison and they need to be uh, liberated through their own family members, if one has the power to do so. Yeah. Yeah. 
it, you know, it's interesting. Uh, well, the us you talked about it. There is also a record. I read so many books. There is one particular passage where it talks about purgatory, right? You know, purgatory is basically mm-hmm. what I call the world between the living and the dead. And then it says there are some angels whose job are those people who were chosen but didn't get a chance to quote unquote be baptized. Now, you know, most people when they read it, they read it from a Christian perspective. But it says that there is a water, a river uh, in purgatory. You know, I'm using, you know, words that people understand that those angels are charged on certain particular spiritual souls who are lingering in, in limbo, in purgatory. Mm-hmm. They're taken and dipped into that water and they're now able to cross to the other side. But it's not just for every soul. It's particular souls. So the angels come there, they look for them, they find them, they take mm-hmm. them to that river and they dip them. But they themselves, yeah. they cannot find it because in purgatory, it's like you sitting there waiting. It's like a waiting room. Mm-hmm. Unless someone come and call you, you're going to wait there forever. So even in, in uh, quote unquote Hollywood movies, they kind of give you glimpses of uh, of the spiritual realm. But like I say, you know, it's called, it's a secret. The Most High says, I'm hidden. A lot of things that people want to know about the Most High, the Most High don't want to be found. If you read their own Bible, it tells you that the Most High don't want to be found. He stays hidden. You know? He's the hidden one. Yep. He's the, he's the hidden one. He's and hidden in darkness. Him. He's hidden in darkness. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yes, yeah. when you hit someone, you know, you don't hide something in light, right? You hide yeah. something. Yeah. When you say na, na zipi, na zipi angu, na zipi. Mm-hmm. right? You are mm-hmm. covering it. So when you mm-hmm. cover something, it enters into darkness. It falls into darkness. Mm-hmm. That's why the Bible said, in darkness, he makes his dwelling. Mm-hmm. How is that? Well, know, uh, and, let a Christian oh, explain that. How does yeah. the Most High, Holy Being, who says dwell. I dwell in light now has also his dwelling in darkness. Mm-hmm. He called unto Moses, enter into the dark cloud, right? Mm-hmm. And when he manifested uh, to the three disciples with Isaiah on the Mount of Transfiguration, the Bible tells you that that dark cloud swallowed uh-huh. them up. You see? And in the dark cloud was the presence of the one who spoke. So Tatan Zambi Because you don't want to be seen. And if you also observe the temple in the Holies of Holies, there was no light in the Holies of Holies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See? So the presence dwelt in darkness. Mm-hmm. Because the most I don't want to be seen, he don't want to be found. He don't want to be found. And yeah, he, but uh, yet he says, search for me and find me. Mm-hmm. See? So there I'm is like a the, treasure. <laughs> exactly, exactly. He will be found for those who are searching for him with one truth heart, you know, truthful heart. But he's hidden for those who are not sincere. He remains a presence in That's darkness, right. hidden. That's right. But he reveals himself to those who are righteous, to those who are searching for him, you know, with faith. With righteousness, with holiness. Oh, uh, brother Kefas, I also wanted to mention something I said in the comment chat earlier when you were teaching. Uh, the word ndaku, right? You know what ndaku means, right? Ndaku. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, House, right? Yeah, I spoke oh, about that one. But if you reverse it, if you reverse it, kukunda. Kunda. Yeah, uh-huh. to bury. Kunda. So yeah. house is the uh, uh, the reverse of bury. Mm-hmm. So what's the saying? You know, home is where my treasure is, right? Mm-hmm. And then what, what what do you do to treasures? You bury under the house. Exactly. So you know, same thing with ngunza, nzinga, ngunza. You know, ngunza, nzinga. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It, it, it's it's yeah. very interesting, you know, saying the uh, the play on words even in our language. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hidden in plain uh, sight. When you, when you are trying to remember, <laughs> and, uh, you know, something. you never realize that we said we speaking. 
Yes, and when yeah. you're trying to Focalizer. remember something deep, right? Like a memory, you are trying to access that memory. Mm -hmm. We also say kundula, right? To dig. Kundula. Hmm. Yes. Ah, yes. Kundula, to dig. So we see that that kunda and kukundula is connected because when you go to the grave, you are remembering, right? You are digging into those memories to 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 remember the one who has been buried in that place. Kunda is a house. Kunda can also mean a tomb or a uh, a crown. No, not a crown. A uh, throne. Yes, a throne. So what we see is that the grave. It's not just a grave, but it is the doorway through the spiritual world. To the throne. Yeah, it's crazy, right? It's crazy, yeah. But that's the reason. Wait, wait a minute. Let me let me show you share this. Yes, let me share my screen for a moment. Look at this. Um, here. Yeah. It, it's very interesting. For all Christians in here, and for everyone who's still doubting and everything we're saying here, Hebrew, on the left corner, right? In the left corner, Hebrew, Gan, which is Ganu in Kikongo. Ganu, Gan in Hebrew, a covered or hidden place. Brother, look at that. A hidden place. Yes? Mm -hmm. In Greek, mm -hmm. kepos. Like the UFC player, Ngano. Ngano. Yeah. In, um, a cultivated piece of ground, usually in the summer, summer, planted with flowers, vegetable, scrubs, trees, fenced with a mud or stone wall. My brother, they are they are describing burial places of Bantu people. It's exactly like this. The ancients mm -hmm. used to bury people in yes. the gardens, yes, and with a wall or a fence of mud or stones around it. Okay, let's go to the I, I, right I, 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 upper corner. Yeah. Let's go to the right yeah. upper corner. Look, uh, no, here. Let's start here, right? The Hebrew, Bantu, read Bantu, where you see Hebrew. The Bantu used gardens as burial places. The Garden of Gethsemane was a favorite retreat of Jesus for meditation and prayer. See? So the Garden of Eden, of sorry, the Garden of uh, Gethsemane was a burial place. And we and we are told that it was Jesus' favorite hangout. Yes. It was Jesus' favorite spot in a cemetery for prayer and meditation. Why? When he was visited by uh, Moses and Elijah, he was at the Garden of Gethsemane, a burial place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christian. And churches are built upon Why Where are you Christian? And churches Why are you Hebrew Israelite? And it goes yeah. back to Eden, Eden, hidden I place. Got this from this dictionary, okay? So it's it's not a speak. It's just in this dictionary itself, the Zonophon Bible Dictionary. Mm -hmm. I, I I just bought a a a, a, a Kikongo dictionary. It's like a, for English speakers. Okay. And almost every word that I, I see there. It's all Hebrew, like uh, it's like, I mean, it's it's freaking, you know, quote unquote Bible Hebrew. I'm like, wow, 
I can see it, even though I don't understand Kikongo that well, but I mm -hmm. can see the Hebrew in everything that I was seeing in that dictionary. Yes, in everything. To point out that it is it is the original language. That, oh, that brother. That cannot be refuted. Yes. That cannot be refuted. 100%. The Kikongo is the yes. true Hebrew. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Let me tell you something. Um, in... Uh, in the in the west coast of Angola and, and uh, in Congo, the Republic of Congo, they have found in the so-called Lovo caves inscriptions of ancient Hebrew, the Paleo Hebrew, which is very close to the Egyptian hieroglyphs. Yes, mm -hmm. and they have found. 17 from the 22 Hebrew letters in that cave. In Angola. In Angola and Congo. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. the Congo uh, Republic oh. Congo and going down to Angola. Yes. On yeah, the oh, there was a Point Noir area, yeah. Exactly. Down, yeah. yeah. So in those caves, they have found 17 of the 22 paleo hebrew letters which are very close to the original egyptian hieroglyphs because what people don't understand is that the original hebrew script was birthed from the hieroglyphs mm -hmm. the egyptian hieroglyphs mm -hmm. right and the language of the ancient egyptian was a proto-bantu language mm -hmm. therefore Ancient Hebrew is Bantu, mm -hmm. which is really Kikongo. Even ancient which is Kikongo. Tutankhamun, you know the, fair, the famous pharaoh that everybody goes to see. What his name? Tutankhamun. Tut. Mm -hmm. Tut. Tutankhamun. It has the word Tut. Mutu. Mm -hmm. Tut. And you also have um, a pharaoh Kuvu. Pharaoh Khufu, mm -hmm. who's also known as Menes, or, or Mene. Now, we had a, a king of the Congo, right? Uh, in Portuguese, when he baptized himself, he received the name João. But his African name, his true name is uh, Nkufu, Zing Nkufu. It's exactly the same. Kuvu and Kufu, and Kuvu and the Egyptian Kufu is exactly the same. You you know you, you ever see the you guys also Lion King, right? Yes. Oh yeah, I've seen Lion King. Oh, yeah. So the second one, Scar had a son. His name was Kuvu. Uh -huh. Oh really? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Simba Kovu. These are these are mm -hmm. Bantu names. Uh -huh. Which are Bantu names? Yes. Simba is actually Jacob. Yes. Yes. In uh, in Kikongo. Yes. You know, in Kikongo, when you have when you when you give birth to a twin, what's the tradition? Do you know the tradition? Uh, first thing is like. Well, I know what they got. My my boss. Uh, well, since. I'm from Equator. Mabo so Nama uh uh they have they have their own name, but I don't know in Kikongo what they call it. Okay. In Kikongo, in, in Bakongo, yes, we say uh Nzuzi Simba. Nzuzi Simba, okay. Zumbi Simba. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we mm -hmm. say Mango Mabo uh Mabo so Mango. Eh. Where that's right. And so the the birth of twins are very special, right? In uh, mm -hmm. in Bantu culture, very special. Some even say, mm -hmm. some African cultures even have this tradition that twins have special spiritual powers. Yes, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's something. Yeah. So in the Bible, you see the birth of those twins, Esau <clears throat> and Jacob. And they tell you that the name Jacob means supplanter, right? Well, that's not right. That's not right. 
<clears throat> if we go with the Bantu tradition, we see that Jacob is called Simba. Yeah. Right? Simba, the one who holds, the one who is a fighter. Cosimba, Cosimba, Simba. Exactly. Yeah. Cosimba, exactly. Simba, Simba, to hold, the one who holds, the one who holds, and the one who, who, who man, who they messed our stories up. Yeah, it's oh, all about us. <laughs> wow, it's all about mm -mm. us. Mm -mm. So, now look at hey, this. Make, listen, uh, listen, uh, yeah. listen. <laughs> let me finish. So Simba means, eh, who is Jacob, means the one who holds, the one who possesses the power. Simba also means king, lion. Mm. Yes, you mm -hmm. see. Now, Mzuzi, Mzuzi comes from a verb in Kikongo. I forgot the verb, but it comes from a verb which means the coraler, one who corals. Oh, crawler, <laughs> like a konguluma, konguluma. No, no, no. Uh, one who fights, a coraler, one who seeks fights, you know? Oh, uh, mubundeli, uh, mubundeli. Exactly. Yeah. Mutoya linga kaba confusion. Like uh, someone who loves to create uh, conflict, like fire, yeah, yeah. Like a troublemaker, yeah. troublemaker. Yeah. Troublemaker, yeah. Was, right. Yeah. A coroller, yeah. troublemaker. Wanamobulu. Wanamobulu, exactly. Wanamobulu. Nabi, you said so God, you said you garden was Ganu? What you say? Did you say garden was Ganu, right? Gandu, Gandu, yes. 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 hidden place. Similar to Zandu, Zandu, Gandu, Zandu, Zandu, Gandu. Zandu, Gandu. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so Eden, Eden was a hidden place. It's a hidden yes. place in Central Africa. In Central Africa, well, you know, you, you know, Wakanda is the concept of Congo. Mm -hmm. You know, the movie, you know, when the movie Wakanda was hidden. Was hidden. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look at the map, the Marvel map. They yeah. literally cut the east of Congo. So basically, they created a fictional area from Kivu. That's mm -hmm. why this whole agenda of splitting Congo. Balkanization, mm -hmm. they, that's the whole agenda. They, they're making us feel good Wakanda, but they're actually destroying the real Wakanda. Yes, and they nobody are. has no idea. That's, what that's right. Mean. Nobody cares yeah. about Congo. That's right. Nobody cares. Mm, yeah, that's right. It's crazy. Now, you have all heard... <clears throat> um, that concerning the identity of Jesus, the Kadian Pemba Mundele and all haters of the black man, they will say, no, Jesus was never black. Mm. Oh, what color was he then? Okay, he was white. And when you disagree with them, they say, okay, he was all life color. Right now, he's, now it doesn't he's... matter. Color doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Doesn't matter. <laughs> they say he was all life color. He had the all life color. What the heck is that? Now oh, they're making color. him yeah. Middle East. Uh, 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 Middle East. East. Black. Yeah, they're making him uh, uh, Middle Eastern. Yeah, Middle Eastern, Eastern looking now. Yeah. Yeah. Now let me share something now. I was reading. Uh, the but Middle Eastern don't look like olive. They look white. <laughs> My brother, let they're me white. tell you this. All life color. All life color Black. was used in 15, 1591 to describe a Congo man. Mm -mm. Yes, I will show you the source. <laughs> <laughs> I will show you the source. Let me repeat because black thing. olives <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. even if they meant green, you know. Doesn't matter, but the, 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 the exact wording all life colored was used in the description of a Congo man. It's crazy. Let me uh, let me show you the, the, the source. That green olive might be a hybrid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on on, on ripen. You know? Yeah. Look at this. Hmm? Look at this. This is from uh, the history of Congo, from Pigafetta. I don't know what page number. It's from 1591. Right? It says, the man and woman are black. The man of Congo, 
Okay, the men and women of Congo are black. Some approaching all life color. Look at you see all Bla life color. Black olive. <laughs> so when you say Jesus was an all life color, olive. he was he was a Mukongo. Yeah. According to Pigafetta. With black curly hair and others with red hair. So there were Congos with black curly hair and Congos with had red hair. So that will explain also who Nzuzi, Isau. Ndundu. 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 Because Isau was Ndundu. 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 But they change Edom because they, they, they can't speak Edom. Bantu word like they, they can't speak Bantu. They have to say Ingano. Like if the, the UFC, every time I hear them, I'm like, look, they, they, they're revealing who they are because they can't speak lang Bantu language. So they have to, to change the accent. It's yeah. Ngano, not Ingano. No, that's, there's no in. That's why they that's why Ngano. they had to that's why they had to create the Hebrew off of Bantu. Because they, yeah. they couldn't pronounce our words. Exactly. Do, do you know that the Hebrew alphabet was created in the 18, 18, uh, 1800s by a Jewish uh, uh, rabbi named something, uh, Joseph Benjamin something? Yes, I'm familiar that uh, the Jewish guy invented the uh, modern Hebrew. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, not, it's, 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 not, it's not even Hebrew, it's Arabic. It's it's uh, yes, it's, Yiddish. It's it's a mixture of foreign uh, languages. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now look at this. The the men are middle height, and accepting the black skin are like the Portuguese. The purples of the eyes are of various shades. Some black, others of the color of the sea. Now, what's the color of the sea? The color of the sea is bluish and, and greenish, right? So there were Congos in the kingdom of Congo with red hair, like the Ndundus, uh, who, who we call um, albinos, right? Albinos, yeah. And with red hair, blue eyes, and some of them even greenish eyes. Their lips are not large like the Negroes. Also, we Congos have beautiful lips, you see? That's right. And the countenance vary, like those of the people in our countries. For some are stout and others thin, and they are quite unlike the Negroes of Nubia and Guina, who are hideous. Now he's just discriminating. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, uh, 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 wow. Uh, no, but but uh, you have to think about it too. Maybe he's saying Nubian, but I think he's referring to the Nilotic people. Yes, he's referring yes. to the Nilo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because Nilotic yes. people they have a different bone structure than us. So when you exactly. say Nubia, I think he's referring to Sudan because well, you know. My yes. Father, mm -hmm. they, yes. They migrated to Sudan. Uh, can can you he, share that, Nabi? You know, but guess what? That's the books that we're reading while we were, you know, uh, minding our own business. Mm -hmm. Hmm? We can't hear you anymore, brother. There's something uh, with connection. Uh, you know, being slaves, you know. Come again. We didn't catch you. Oh, I was saying that uh, while they were reading these uh, insults, we were minding our business in Africa, having peace, and some of our people, while they're being yes. slaving in the West, they're reading yeah. these books in the, you know, unaware yeah. of them. You know, <laughs> That's right. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. We were minding our own business, and they were writing this stuff, right? Yeah. They were yeah. painting but pictures. It's, it's interesting. How the Kadian Pemba were so obsessed in studying the, the Congo people. Um, the Congo people, the Congo kingdom is the most written about in history. Yes, but we didn't know. 
We didn't we know. Didn't like, I'm finding all books about Congo left and right in English, even. I'm yeah, like, wow. Yeah, yeah. Because most are written in French. Um, the, the, what was the other one? Now, here's an, something that's not written, right, Massa? I mean, uh, Kefos. Uh, I think you had a teaching, right? You were talking about, uh, what is it, Egypt, how we came to be, right? Now, it is something that's, you know, I've talked about it with some of the brothers, right? Now, many people will say, bunch of people, we left, like we migrated from Egypt. But that's a more recent history. We were always in Central Africa. We we're just doing a circle. So just like in a dance, we run in circles. So Bantu people, we spread out and we always move around like in a circle. Like Congolo, right? We'll, we'll, we'll go north, move west, come down, go south, go up, just like the, uh, the cosmogram. Yes. So it, even in our history back in the day, we always move within Africa. So this idea that the whole story happened in the Middle East is a lie. Why? Because the Bible tells you Nimrod was going to go the first emperor after the flood, right? So if mm -hmm. Nimrod is the son of an Ethiopian or Kush, Kush was where? Central Africa. How in the hell is going to leave Central Africa go thousands of miles in a campaign to go take over Asia? To settle in, 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 in quote-unquote Iraq? Mm. Uh, or Acadia or whatever. No, everything happened in Africa. They want to take Africa out of everything, but that's a mm. lie. Everything, if everything started in Africa, what does Babylon have to do with anything over there in the Middle East? It's a lie. They lie. That's right. The Bible tells you, like it's a what you see. It it, it kills of all the maps. It kills everything because it says Nimrod was the son of Cush, and mm -hmm. it's over. My they brother. Lie. But Kush is also called the son of God. So how is that possible? Hmm? Kush is called Isolele. How do you explain that? You know, those terminologies, Shemites, Hemites, first of all, it just to point to a language group, right? That's hmm. first. It points to a language group. Semitic people who are, are familiar with the Semitic language, Hamitic people, you know, who share the same Hamitic language. Then it moved to, uh, I think in, um, when was it? In the 17th or 18th century, 18th century or 19th century, I, I, I don't remember. But they started to separate people, yes, through the mind of uh, racism and yes. preparation for colonization. Yeah. Because they had to demonize the original moon too. And they wanted to appropriate to themselves yes. the priestly people who they then called the Shemitic people. Yes. But if you listen to certain rabbis and when you study those uh, sayings of the rabbis who are, you know, really profound in um, uh, um, Kabbalah, they say Noah only had two sons. Mm. And those sons were Cam, not Ham, not Ham, but Cam. Mm -hmm. Cam, we say Cam, see, with a K. Mm -hmm. Cam in Kikongo, which is Kama. Mm -hmm. Kama is what? Egypt. Yeah. Cam and Japhet. Two sons. Now, where is Shem coming? Now, according to <clears throat> Ari Hakodesh, <clears throat> who is one of those referred Kabbalistic teachers, he says, the one who received the title Shem 
was the one who was chosen yes to be the priest of the Tanzang and to produce the priestly people right so it is one who was initiated into the knowledge of Zulu he received the name Sham or Sam therefore when you read certain texts in scriptures where kami kama is being called kush right kush is being called my children kush is being called Isolele. egypt kama is being called my people now you can understand where it's coming from because the original Muntu is Kushi. The original man is Kushi. Therefore, the first, um, therefore the location, shall I say, the location of Eden in Genesis 2 is called Ethiopia. But Ethiopia is a Greek rendition of mm -hmm. Kush. Mm -hmm. yes. Crazy, eh? And this, I know it confuses a lot of people because we have been so conditioned to continuously separate people and to follow the, uh, the, the way of interpretation of scripture, which the mm -hmm. Kanyan member introduced to mm -hmm. everyone. But who is saying that, that the way how they in interpret scripture and the way how they divided people is the correct one for us? They are, you know, the father, they are the children of liars, you know, and everything they did is to put themselves on top. <laughs> you know something that not just say that you, there's a lot of talk about uh, the race of people and in the existence of time. They're said to be the youngest race on Earth. So how do they get the right history? <laughs> mm -hmm. Apparently, they've only been around 6000 years. They, 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 don't even, they have no origin. So how do they know how they know what yeah. history is right? Where do they who, come from? Where yeah. they come from? And Ethiopia huh? is the biggest stumbling block for the Hebrew Israelites because I've seen debates whether you know I don't want to name names, but all the quote unquote known Hebrew Israelites, whether camps or church <laughs> or whatever, what do they call on <clears throat> the different names, you know, what do they call on Yah Yahawa or I all those names? All it's those damn names we, we, we know you tokens, you know, the Jewish people are trying to be like, you know what? Maybe there's some truth to it. Why? Because the Bible basically says, can an Ethiopian change his skin? Are not the, uh, are you not like unto the Kushite unto me, says the Lord? Yeah, I will punish you for all your sins. So why would the Most High compare you to a people if you're not like them? I mean, what's the matter will his people be with the Kushite if the Most High is a, He's using that as a, simi uh, 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 a similarity, you know. Say, so, are you not like the the Ethiopians unto me? Say the Lord. You so know, you, you know how the ancient Egyptians, sorry, you know how the ancient Greeks and Romans called your fathers, who are the Hebrews, the ancient Israelites of the book. You know who are the true people, the cust custodians of the world, mm -hmm. those who you know, uh, possess the traditions and customs of Zulu, mm -hmm. the Greek and the Roman call them Kushi, Ethiopians. Mm -hmm. It's Kushi, Ethiopians. Even the Bible calls the Israelites Ethiopians. The original Muntu, the original man came from Kush, came from Ethiopia. That's why when we go when, if you follow the, the law of first mention, what many uh, Bible teachers do, uh, even uh, Bible uh, prophetic teachers do this, like Perry Stone, if you know him, and uh, of course, Benny Hinn, who doesn't know Benny Hinn. When you go with the law of first mention, the Garden of Eden is first connected with Cush. Mm -hmm. which is translated yep. in your Bible, Ethiopia, right? Mm -hmm. So the law of first mention tells us 
that if you want to understand something, you must go to the source. So if you want to understand the land of blessing, the Garden of Eden, you must go to the source. And where do you find the Garden of Eden? In the book. It is not called Israel. Mm -hmm. It is not called the land of Canaan. But it is called Ethiopia mm -hmm. in Greek. Cush mm -hmm. in Hebrew. <clears throat> so, so Ethiopia is not necessarily a location, but a description of the people. It's no, both. No, no, it, it, no, it's a, it's, yes. It's a, uh, yeah. It's so both. In Genesis, yes. when he talks about the river, it's the location. Yeah. Because they tell us in quote unquote Bible school, they say that the rabbis went back to rename some places, you know, to give like a modern location, right? But the name they chose to give were the rivers of uh, uh, Eden that, that was watered Eden. Now, here, uh, Kephas, you brought something very important because I talked about it too behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. They tell us the Euphrates River, right, is in Asia, right? They say over there in quote unquote Syria, Palestine, blah 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 blah, right? Now what? Yes. Is, okay. The Bible in Genesis two says there was a, re a main river that splits into four parts. The first river, it's called. It says it it, it goes to Avila. Now watch this, K uh, brother Kephas. You're gonna be shocked. Who's Avila? Or Avila, one of the sons of Cush. Yes. Watch this. And it says, and the second is called Gihon. Gihon. That encompassed the whole land of Ethiopia. Wait a minute. The first two rivers locations are where Cush is, or the location where the people of Cush mm -hmm. and children live. Now, wait a minute. And then you go to the third, it says Hidekel. Now, people, you know, they be okay, where's Hidekel, right? And then you look at it, it gives you a location, something zero, whatever. But then the last one says Euphrates. Now, wait a minute. If the first two rivers that's watering the garden is in within Africa, where's the Euphrates? If the Euphrates is over in Asia, how in the hell will it, uh, the river of the garden split apart? One is on one side of the oil, and uh, it, it, it's a... You caught, you know, like Timon said, oh, can I on a look down about that's the lie. You caught him. That's <laughs> telling you, Eden is in Africa, but at the same time, it's in Asia. What? Who's lying here? There you go. There you go. It's right there in our face, and we couldn't see it. Wow, we were, oh and, my and, God. And, so and, that's, <laughs> and that's why they also say Afro Asiatic. <laughs> see, it's a deception. It's a deception. We have nothing to do with Asia. No. The way they tell us. We are, some of our ancestors went to Asia, but everything to disconnect, because remember, they have to, if Africa is the black continent, we just say the most high is hidden. Where is the most high hidden? It's the darkest continent. It's Africa, black. Kush. Yes. So the most high is hidden in Kush. That's mm -hmm. why it is. The Fenaya, it says what? Mm -hmm. My people will, you know, the, my devils will come back. For, to the eh, from beyond the rivers of Egypt to bring what my offering. We're going back to where he's hiding. Congo. Congo <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people don't want to be. I was telling a, a fellow, you know, uh, mm. uh, one of our brothers, you know, African American, and I was telling him because he said, "Oh, the par uh, the God of Italy is in the sun." I'm like, "No, no, no, brother." I'm like, "It's the Congo." He's like, "What do you mean? Look what's happening. Look, how can it be the Congo?" No, I don't believe it. I'm like, you're saying that now, but in the coming years, you understand why. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> he yeah. doesn't believe it. A lot of people, because in the mind, Congo, trash, refugees, war, it, it, it's death. But that's where the most, what did the most I say? I'm with the poor. <laughs> Who is the poorest people in the world, yet they are rich? Revelation 2, that are rich. He was speaking to the Congo people. He said, I know who says they are Jew who claim to be you, but they are not. And they're the ones who are making you poor. The children of who? The wicked. Man, you have blown some people away. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm, I, 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 I am quote unquote African American, and I understand 100% that Congo is. Listen, the, the spirit woke me up. I had to know because yeah. I'm from, he told me I was from there. Yeah. So and, and, and mm -hmm. even if you want facts uh, to the brother speaking, uh, because I, I'm kind of driving, so I can't see. Uh, there is a book. 
you can buy it on Amazon. It's called Atlas, like Atlas, Atlas of the Transatlantic Slave Trade. This book was published in 2010, 2010. And it's a book that gives you a chronology and shows you map of every quote unquote slave trade that happened from the 1580, from 1585 till the abolishment of slavery. And it has the bill of sale and everything, which also confirms what the, the NOI or the Nation of Islam, the book, the relationship between Jews and blacks, right? Some of the bill of sales that you find in the in the books, some of some of them are written in that book, and that book shows you where the people were taken from Africa to to America. Guess what? Ninety percent of them came from Central Africa. Yes. Cool. Yes, one hundred percent. That is correct. Yeah, brother, brother, um, Gerard. Yes. Why the Hebrew Israelites, right? Fighting against the truth of Congo, fighting against the revelation of the Most High, that the true people, the true ancient people, the people of the book, mm -hmm. who they call Israelites or Hebrew Israelites, so that they are actually people of Congo. They really right? are. And they when are. we say Congo, we are not just referring to the country, you know? Correct. The Congo is the name yes. of the Most High, Ne Congo. Yes. Yeah. Congo is the name of the people, Bakongo. Mm -hmm. Congo is also the name of the land they possess, Congo Kachopa. Yes. We are the people. If you're Bantu, you are part yes. of the Congo people. Yes. All Bantu or Congo. Our band to a Congo. Yes. But why are the Hebrews so like hating on us? Because we talk about ancestors and stuff or what? Yeah. So a lot of those camps are Freemasons funded. Mm. Can I say free, that again? They're Freemasons. And their agenda is to, like, like my, my brother Fast and Life said, they're trying to keep Africa away from everything. Mm -hmm. So they believe the lie of, they think the whole continent is Hamites. Oh, we're not Hamites. That's, they sold us into slavery. So they thinking, yeah. they, they thinking all Bantu is, is Ham. Yeah. And they sold ourselves into slavery. Yeah, so all Bantu, all Africans are Hamites. And just yes. African Americans are Shemites, right? Yes, That's what they think. You, 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 you're the only Shemites. <laughs> so the Tadian Pemba made sure yes. to take all the Israelites from Africa. Yes. And, and to leave, leave all the Hamites behind. So we will never mix. Nope. There was no mixing. <laughs> they forget we was in Kama. But they they forget we was in Kama. Uh, Mexicans, they call Mexicans who look pale. Who are mestizos? They call them Israelites. Oh my goodness! Yeah. They, yeah. But, but, but they came, I know the history of the Israelites. You know, uh, just to give you a synopsis. You know, they put Filipinos on the chart. Brothers, yeah, the, 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 it started with uh, was it? Uh, I don't want to get it mixed up, but back in the eighties, right? Well, it goes back way like in early nineteen hundreds. But I'm talking about what you see today, like the branch. You said I was an SUVK, and then it became ISUVK, right? So they learned from guess who? The same East of Edomite they hate, Jewish rabbi. Exactly right. So the 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 creator of the Hebrew Israel movement are Jewish people. Yeah. Right? Oh. So in Harlem, yes. So what the, the story is: Black people wanted to learn more about Judaism, you know. Because you know they they were walking away from Christianity, so mm -hmm. in their mindset, who are you gonna where are you gonna learn the Torah? Jewish people. Yeah. So the best way to explain it to people who 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 you know maybe the, why are you saying that? Hebrew Israelitism, right? That's what I'm calling it. It's a new religion. It is. Is literally Judaism for black people. Yes. Kind of like Islam. It's yes. Catholicism for Arabs. Yes. Now, <laughs> even though is. they're branching away, you have uh, GOCC, uh, GMS, which is Grand Millstone, 
ICPK, IUIC, all of them were under one teacher. So what, what's the saying? Banana no baza banana now. So it doesn't matter if you walk away from your mother. You are still your mother's child. Yes. So Hebrew Israelites are Jewish. Yes, they're they're under What's the Jewish that? they're under the Jewish spell. Hey, don't say that too hard, man. Hey, the truth. <laughs> hey, guess what? The th uh, people want to say the truth is something free, right? If Hebrew Israelites about the truth, they should know that you just black Jewish. You just mm. black Jewish. That's it. Simple. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And it's, 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 the truth hurts. The, 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 the Kadia Pemba knew there was going to be an awakening. So they had to create this camp illusion mm -hmm. and culture to have to bring a halt to, to the awakening of Congo. This is they fear the most. They they can say we can say we hear Hebrew, Hebrew lies all day. We can say we people of the book, this, but once we start claiming Congo, that's what they really fear. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's, that's where the that's where the power is. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It is a brother gave us this truth about the origin of Hebrew Israelites. None of the camps are gonna talk about it. And you know, no, I'm everywhere, right? Uh check this out. Recent last year there was uh some quote unquote they never came out, they never showed their face, right? So there was some YouTubers who were, you know talk about the truth, Israelites and stuff like that. Come to find out they did a DNA test, can you pay <laughs> they have nothing to do with that. But guess what? They were, oh, you know, it doesn't matter. But as long as they were promoting Christ, you know, so it's like you had people who are not you teaching you about you that they say, oh, we are we are one of you. Come to find out they're Europeans. They have no relation to Africa whatsoever. So that's why I tell people you have a lot of people who claim to be quote unquote black with black skin. They are not us. Because when you go back in the family tree, you're going to see who. Julius Caesar, uh, George Bush, uh, Jeff Kennedy. But mm -hmm. because, you know, black is dominant, when that mestizo marries a, a black person, that makes sure, you know, the melanin gets stronger, right? But the blood of the father is okay. <clears throat> yeah. So a lot of the Hebrews that we see online, I bet you 50% of them Alcadia Pemba with a black face. Yeah, because definitely. Slavery. Of course. You can just say uh, 90%. Yes. Yes. 90% for sure. Because they have Mexican, look at this. Mexican, Puerto Ricans, Cubans. And they are not talking <laughs> about those Afro Cubans. Eh? Nope. Right. They're talking about nope. those light skinned European children. Some of them Afro Latinos are in Puerto Rico too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dominicans, yeah. All the light skinned Dominicans. And look at this map, man. Seminole Indians, Native Americans, Colombia, Ur Uruguay, Incas, oh my goodness. Mexicans, Aztecs. <laughs> you know, it's say to Where's Africa? Argentina. Where's Africa on this map? Oh, Where is Congo on this map? Where's Benin? <laughs> you know, where is uh, uh, Zambia, Uganda, Cameroon, Deception. South Africa, Namibia, Mozambique, Kenya? And well, these, are, these are all Europe, European nowhere. names too. But actually, Judah, all these tribes, right? Yahunde, Benamundu, Lewi, um, all these tribes can be found in Africa. Yes. They all can be found in Africa. Yes. You know, it's just a group of us who were taken. Now, let me tell you this story. It's very, my mother told me, one day, as I was uh, conversing with her, uh, talking about our migration and things like that, she told me a story that, uh, that her father told her. So one day, her father gathered all her children together, right? And he showed them this pergament. So a pergament or parchment. Uh, it's a text written on animal skin, what we call kanda. Yes, it's a text written animal skin on both sides. He showed them the family line, written, the history of the family, written on an animal skin called Kanda. And then he said, some of your brothers and sisters, some of your family members were taken by the Kadian Pemba mm -hmm. and sold 
into a far country. Mm-hmm. We haven't seen them anymore. When she, when she said that, man, it it hit me. Mm-hmm. You know, I cried for a little bit. She said, we have never seen them again. Mm-hmm. And her father told her and her siblings, when you see people coming from far countries beyond the sea and they tell you, we are of your blood, we are of your family, believe them. Because some of our kin were taken by the Mundele mm. and sold. You see? But we have some camps who would believe that only Judah was sold. Hey, mm-hmm. Congo was sold, man. Mm-hmm. Most of you came from the Congo. Congo. Yes. Most of you were taken from the, Congo. The transatlantic slave Congo. trade was all about Congo. As long as you are not, as long as you do not identify with Congo, you are not true Bantu. You are not Israelite. You are still lost. You're still lost. You are not Bantu. You are not Israelite until you connect with Congo. I know yes. this will get ma- many people mad. Oh, yeah. Coming with the theologies, you know, coming with the sources, the European Kadian Pemba sources. Just means, to tell us, no, means nothing. <clears throat> we're wrong. No, we're not wrong. Kadian Pemba tell, tell so, ma- so many lies. <laughs> Even the books, they tell lies. Yes. I believe in the story that I've heard from my ancestors, the story that I heard from my elders and from my parents. We are who we are. Yes. And on top of that, by the revelation of the Tanzanian Pungutulendu, by the visitations that I received and the visions that were shown unto me, I'm 100% sure that this 12 tribe chart, 12 tribes of Israel, is nonsense. It's nonsense. You know, our ancestors in, 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 in Pemba Kalunga are using this as toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> it not be, nonsense. Not, not yeah. be, for something to be demonic, would you say a demon has to be present? Mm. Yeah, come on. A demon, a demons come from a certain DNA group. They are mm. the creation of the fallen. <clears throat> so yes. what, again, would it make sense for our senses to be demonic? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Our ancestors are not demonic. <laughs> Yes, uh, you can behave uh, of course. in opposition, but that doesn't make you demonic per se. <clears throat> um, you know, Satan is also an invention <clears throat> of Christianity. Yes. Satan, in the mind of Bantu, does not really exist. Strange, you know, to, but I will explain. Let me move this chart. Let me explain. In the mind of our ancestors, um, the world has this battle of balance, right? <clears throat> Life is all about balance. Water is good, but drink too much water and you drown. All right? Dirt is good, but if we bury your life underneath the dirt, you die. So everything that is out of balance creates a situation where you suffocate and where you die. So in the spiritual realm, there's also a balance between right behavior and wrong behavior. A balance <clears throat> between righteousness and evil. So the one who is called devil is actually a spirit who is the opposite of the uh, negative who is the negative of the positive. Right. Yes. 
It's a spirit because everything in the in this go is in this universe is governed by a spirit. And remember, Satan in the Bible, he himself is a servant. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he's not above. There's no such thing that Satan wanted to fight against God. Is, Satan just means adversary. Exactly. It means adversary. Mm -hmm. yeah? One who opposes. Yes. yes? Uh, so uh, the one who is opposing always the order of nature, yes. the order of creation is who? Yes. Is who? The Kadian Pemba. Yes, Kadian Pemba. Yeah. It's the Kadian Pemba. So the Kadian Pemba is acting <laughs> as Satan. Therefore, we call them a Kadian Pemba, sons of the devil, which means sons of wicked behavior, which is against yeah, good behavior of Tatanzamba and Pumutulendu. Yeah, let me uh, <laughs> share this before we go. Yeah, today was hot. Yeah, moto, moto. <laughs> moto, <was> uh, moto. <laughs> so um, we have 52 people watching. Did you enjoy the show? Did you enjoy this live episode? Yeah, as uh, Brother Girard and Fasting His Life came in, they brought more fire. More fire. Right? <clears throat> now, look at this, uh, Gerard. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, um, you see this? Mm -hmm. Yeah? The Lord, Yakongo, <clears throat> had made all things for himself. That's to say, to serve his purpose. Yes. He made all things to serve his purpose. Even the wicked. See? For the day of evil. What does that tell you? It's talking about a balance in the universe. A balance mm -hmm. in the natural order. So the devil, the wickedness of the devil is, an, is necessary. The evil of the devil is necessary in the world. <clears throat> because the world, of course, <clears throat> is also in a fallen state. And he <clears throat> uses the wicked one, see, the wicked one, for the day of evil. That, that is to say, for the day of judgment. Mm -hmm. Now, we were judged as a people. Yes. We will judge as a people. And who came up, up, up upon us? Who the came upon ones. us? The evil one. The yes. Kadian Pemba. Yes. See? King Leopold. King Leopold. And his, uh, and his people. And his missionaries. His associates. That is how the, the universe functions. Tatanzambe is not wicked. You see? So how can I do? How, how can he do wicked things? Because he's not wicked. But there are spirits who have chosen, yes, it's, the wicked path. It's who the has denied, uh -huh. who had denied the love of God. They have become evil spirits whom he now uses for the judgment of nations and the judgment of peoples. It's, it's the result, <laughs> result of free will. <clears throat> exactly. It's the result of free will. Because Tatan Zambi, the Most High, is good and yes. he is immutable. He does not change. So his love towards his children never changed. But through our free will, we can reject his love. Yes. And oppose him and become evil workers, spirits of evil works. Yes. That's actually the true origin of Satan. Yes, he opposes the love. Yes, because Satan is not just one spirit, but in the bound to mind, it is the spirit that opposes 
or that is against, and it can be many spirits. You can be, you know, that spirit. Uh, another person can be that spirit. And that's why the correct translation of Satan in Hebrew means adversary. Adversary. Yeah, the adversary. Yeah, let's come to a close. Uh, Fast in his life. What What do you want to say as a closure? Uh, I want to say thank you, brother Kifers, for welcoming me to your show. Even though me being a, being a, you know slaving here in Babylon, aka USA, mm -hmm. the land of dreams, mm -hmm. <laughs> dream on, you know, stay dreamy. <laughs> Uh, I really appreciate this kind of teaching. We really need uh, more, more of us putting contents out there to to fight all the lies because the lies are sweet. That's why everybody is. That's where the subscribers, the view count, everybody is in agreement. You show up there, try to give the truth, they reject it quickly, <clears throat> and they put you in timeout. You know, you you mention yeah. anything Africa, Congo, get out of here, you hamite, you. Yeah, that's, that's right. You're gonna learn a lot of them are Hamites because they didn't just take Bantus to the Americas. <laughs> See, and they don't. Hey, you know what? They will never agree with that one. So, you know, the truth. We we don't need to defend the truth. The truth. Oh. It will matter, and it's gonna get to the top. That's it. Mm -hmm. so, thank Tuduki. you very much. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, thank you, and uh, we will definitely do a, a show together, right? Yes, sir. I have your details, so uh, we will prepare. But I've been so busy with work, you know, it's uh, crazy. And uh, yeah, like you said, you know, here in Babylon, you know, Babylon, Europe, Babylon, America. Yeah, you know, all the same. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, people don't forget to support the channel. Okay, support the channel. Here on YouTube, first of all, by liking the videos, sharing with those you think need to hear the message and what we, uh, yeah, what we teach. And the thumbs up is free; it's totally free. It doesn't cost you anything. Yes, I always uh, support the ministry by that. Support the channel. You can also support by you know uh, by your finance via YouTube with a super chat. Super thanks. Or a better one, become a Patreon partner and enjoy, you know, more teachings on my uh, Patreon page. And this year I will be uh, recording a lot of videos, teachings uh, like I taught today, where I go deeper, you know. And it's all for my uh, Patreon partner. So make sure to go there, visit my uh, Patreon page and become a partner and join, you know, the circle of life, Congo Lo. In Geta. In Geta. Brother Gerard. Yes. What do you want to say uh, as a closure? Um, for our people, especially... Uh, here in America, you know, the Bantu in America, to dig deeper. Um, the deception is very deep. Uh, the Kadia Pemba, our enemy, they spent centuries trying to deceive us, manipulate us. And, you know, the world's going to tell you 99% this is the truth, but you will find the most high in that 1%. He is hidden, as we've been saying. So dig mm -hmm. deeper. L look look, yeah. look yeah. into Congo, look into your roots. Seek the most high, pray about it. He will show you. See? Yeah. Yeah. This, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, let, let me respond to this uh, Dwayne. Dwayne Billings, Billings Lee. Yeah, I was laughing at his comment. Are you addressing me or what? Yeah, yes. He's calling, he's calling me a fool or something. Yeah, he was calling you a fool and calling us fools. And basically, he's questioning your teaching. He says... Oh, how can you teach something? Blah 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 blah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. He he brought into it. Just remember, I told you, if you are your mother is Jewish rabbis, mm -hmm. on her spirit. So you can look at the comments. That's that's Esau right there. 
That's Esau's rap. Yeah. Ah, you know, you said so, Esau. Uh, let, let's do what, let's do him better. So Dwayne Billings Billingsley, with your Kadian Pemba name, <laughs> why don't you come into this live feed right now and correct our teachings in what we taught? Right, because we're here live right now. Yeah. So be a man, come into this live feed and correct our teaching as we spoke <clears throat> about Zulu, heaven, yes, the ancestral plane, okay, and life in the world beyond. That's what we spoke on. Interesting. That's what I taught. <laughs> now come in and correct what I said about the ancestral plane, about the righteous man being received through his ancestors, like Jesus said, which is Bantu, and about the continuation of life in the beyond. Come join us and mm. correct. I think he needs the link, brother uh, Kefas, uh, if he posts the link, may maybe he's going to have the, the cojones <laughs> to, to come up. Yes, and, and let me say uh, something to all of you, you know, everyone who's watching right now. There are some people out there who have <laughs> invested pretty much, you know, a lot of time in studying the feast days. That's not my, my mission. That's not my mandate to come online and to just talk about the feast days. See, because I get this response a lot, you know. Nadi, why are, not, why are we not teaching the feast days? You know, teach us about the, 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 the feast days. We want to know the feast days, the feast days. Listen, there are people out there teaching about the feast days. If you want to know something about the feast days, go to those people. Ask them questions. Okay? Ask them questions. When the Most High tells me, okay, now it's time for you to teach the feast days, I will teach. I'm a spiritual man, and I follow the direction of Nzambi Apongutulendo. As I am directed, I teach. Yes? As I receive the revelations, and I'm and I'm free to reveal. I reveal. Mm. So go to them, to those people who are already teaching, and listen to them. Right? We cannot all teach the same thing, because people think if if that one teaches the feast days, you must teach the feast days too. Mm. If that one is saying something about the Sabbath, you must say something about the Sabbath too. Is that the way we should work? And and we are just conflicting each other, right? Because he says this about the feast days, and the other says that about the feast days, and he, and the other say that about the the, the the Sabbath, and we are just going in a circle, confused because people say different things concerning the same subject. And I believe that. You, we can talk about the feast days and all, but everything you know about the feast day, where, where, is, where is it coming from? Jewish people. Yeah, because the true people who can teach you the true practice of the feast days are the ancestors. Yeah? Yes. And are the people on the continent who have maintained those practices. Those are the people who can truly teach you the feast. The, the feast days, they were for when we were all together, gathered in our homeland as a people. We are still scattered. How can we attend the feast days? Most high has to return these things to us. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, nobody knows the right thing. No, what will we do? What will we do? What's that going to do for us right now? What, what will happen according to the book of Zephaniah 3? First 10, right? Beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. Of Ethiopia. 
What will happen there? <laughs> and the daughter of my disperse will do what? Will bring my offering. Mm -hmm. So they're going to bring it in the land of Ham. They, mm -hmm. Look at the Hebrew Israelites. Mm -hmm. the, the, your Yah, you know, your Yah or Yahweh mm -hmm. says, you, Hebrew Israelites, in the future, will bring your offering to mm -hmm. the land beyond Ethiopia, meaning Africa, the land of Ham. So you're coming, yeah. you're not going to Palestine. You're not going to Tel Aviv. You're going back to the land of Ham. How about that ham sandwich? <laughs> okay. Hey, um, thank you for being here. We really enjoy it. <laughs> and, um, you know, I have received this, this insight, right, about uh, the tetagram. You know the tetagram, right? The yud he fav he. Oh, tetagrammaton. Oh, tetagrammaton. Yeah, the tetagrammaton. Yeah, which... Um, Spells Yah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh Shai, well, however you want to call it. And it actually lines up with Nzambi, you know, without any problem. I will have to share that revelation uh, mm -hmm. one day. Mm -hmm. You know, and it actually lines up with Zambi. No problem at all. <clears throat> so, the true name of the Most High is with the Bantu people. Yes, yes. It, it's and and the Most High has many names. There's not just one name; He has many names because we call Him many things. Yes, and um, and and to be more correct, the Most High doesn't really have a name. We call mm -hmm. him by attributes, yes? We call him also by the way he has revealed himself to us. Yes. And that's it. So that the discussions about the name, you know? His name is Nzam Biampungutulein. Yes. His name is Baba Mung. Hmm. His name is Ngai. His name is Murungu. His name is Nyame. Right? His we, name we, is. <laughs> we say Nzapa. Nzapa. What? In King Bandi, we say Nzapa. Nzapa. Mm. So yeah, you see, Tenza okay. is there. Yeah, Tenza is there. The, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and it's all over the continent. Nza, and even in Chuluba. Nza. In Chuluba, they also say Yapowa. Yapowa. You, know. you got Mozambique. Zambia, Zambia. Mm -hmm. Zimbabwe, Zanzibar, 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 that's Na, Namimbi, Nanzimbi, Nzimbi, Nawimbi, they changed it. Yes. Malawi. It's all over. Hallelujah. Hey. So, <laughs> hey, brothers, thank you uh, for You're joining welcome. in. I think it was a very powerful, uh, yeah, powerful show. It's a lot of fire, you know. It's a lot of uh, energy, a lot of power, uh, insight, wisdom, and I hope all of you who were watching enjoyed the revelations, the knowledge, the insight that we shared, and the conversations uh, that we had. Now make sure to subscribe if you're not, you know. Um, Give the video a thumbs up. If you are a hater, no worries. You know, uh, find your tribe and subscribe. So if you are a hater, you don't have to be here. You can always move on. So why you spend your time if you don't agree? You know, go do something else. That's what I will do. But maybe stick around and uh, you can learn something as Tatan Zambe will it. Hallelujah. To all of you who love me, who love the channel, who love the Most High, you know, who love truth, Tatan Zambe bless you, Tatan Zambe keep you, Tatan Zambe shine his face upon you and be gracious unto you and give his, his peace, his salama. I am Nabi Kefas. I'll see you next time. Mbote and uh, many blessings to you, Gerard. And the fasting is life and zombie apambula.
インゲータ。インゲータ。インゲータ。